Right, this is Dustin Hedrick from Nerd Cheek again. And before I get started, I just want to say this um, video goes out to Gary and Wanda Schaefer. Thank you for asking for this because you're the ones that gave me the idea as we're talking about this concept because you asked me what my thoughts were on it. So I'm going to share my thoughts today on using passwords, the same password for everything, as well as password managers and best practices for making encryptable passwords. Number one, I want to start with this. Way back when, in 2008, April 16th, Fox News said straight up, do not use the same password for everything. There are tons of people out there who use passwords for tons of stuff that are the same. We're all the way in 2016 now, and we're halfway through the year almost, and people are still using the same password for everything. Do not do this. You need to get a different password for everything. Do not use your same banking password for other banks and other finance sites or iTunes or whatever. You need different passwords. So that's the first thing I want to say. We'll come back to that part of the conversation a little bit later when we talk about how to manage those passwords. But do not have the same password for everything. It is not a good idea. Do not do it. No, 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 no. Change now. This is the time before you get hacked. Once you're hacked, it's over. They already are compiling lists of information on you on the web. The bad guys are already out there keeping up with who you are. They're tracking everything they can. All they need is one bad password, and the next thing you know, they're logging into every account they can get into, starting with your bank. And you are done, done, done. We need more passwords, better passwords, and different passwords for everything we do. So how do we make good passwords? Well, that brings us to this thought from Microsoft. And I just took this off the Microsoft website. All credit goes to them. They're saying here what makes a strong password. Strong password is at least eight characters long, does not contain your username, real name, or company name, does not contain a complete word, is significantly different from previous passwords, contains characters from each of the following four categories. So using uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Now I want to go a further a bit. I want to say that just like here it says that there are some passwords that are weak that, that have this. I agree. I want to further say I don't I don't like to be I don't like to leave passwords into the hands of of just um a simple phrase but if you had to use a phrase, um, I would, and I had to hand create passwords, I would make it very difficult to understand what that phrase is. I'd use uppercase and lowercase letters in it, sentences and phrases that are random. So this phrase right here that I wrote is, this day is stressful. But I switched out a lot of stuff. I replaced numbers and letters with symbols and numbers with characters. I really like to use at least 15 or 20 characters. Um, if there's a size limit to characters you can use on a site, use the most you can. And I don't use names related to me or places um, I live or whatever. So if you want to look at this one, it's there's the T, lowercase, uppercase H, a 1 for an I, um, a dollar sign for an S, a 6 for a D, an at symbol for an A, lowercase Y. I swapped out an L even though I'm saying it's is. So this is a lowercase L for the I and is an uppercase S, a dollar sign S, a lower T, a lower R, a 3 for an E, which a lot of people do. It's becoming more um, expected. Two capital S's. And the, you notice the capitals are at random points. A lower F, a lower U, and the number one for the L. This day is stressful. Again, don't use this because I just put it into um, this. You know, this could be something that's figured out. Don't even use it this way. Come up with something even more random that's yours and don't tell anyone what it is. And don't save it in the notes on your cell phone because somebody steals your cell phone, they got all of your passwords. And if you're using notes for important stuff on your cell phone, lock it. Use the, the lock function with your fingerprint required for your iPhone or something like that. These are all best practices. So we're done with that. Let's talk about some password managers. Why would you use a password manager? Well, with so many different passwords, you want to have something that can manage them so you don't forget them and you don't want them on the notes on your phone. You don't want to put them on a post-it note under your keyboard. You don't want them under a post-it note under your um, your your pen holder and your pencil holder. All these are places. Uh, these are places I'd look on the backside of your monitor, on 
whatever. Again, hear what I'm saying. I've just told you a number of places that some of you guys are already hiding your passwords there. Go take those down and, and throw them away. Put all your passwords into a password manager. So here are some of my favorite password managers. There's KeePass, which keeps passwords safe. It's the least of my favorites because it's open source, and I don't like that idea being out there for a password manager, but there's KeePass. You can find it on the web. There's LastPass, but you have to pay a hefty premium. They do all kinds of other stuff. They make it pretty to see your passwords. They fill every password automatically, which is great. They fortify your passwords with an extra master password, which I love. And all these do. There's a cost for the higher level enterprise and whatever. That's fast LastPass. Check it out on the web at lastpass.com. I'll put the link in my website later. I mean in this description later. There's one password. It's a really good one. You can download a free trial or buy it. And um, it's very simple. GQ says they like it. Um, and it's it's a good password manager. So that's that's a good one. This is an even better one, Dashlane. I like it much more. Dashlane is across all your devices. Automatically logs into websites. It's gotten great reviews. It gets reviews from a, a boatload of different groups that stand behind it and say that's great. You can see that it's very strong. Your passwords are encrypted, and you can keep up with all your credit card receipts and everything else. Highly recommended. That's Dashlane at Dashlane.com. I'll put that link in the description as well. Dashlane's great. My favorite, RoboForm at RoboForm.com. I use it all the time. I have it built into my Chrome browser. It's embedded. It goes across all my devices. You can see, hands down, I love this password manager. I use it everywhere. So if you're using it, and you're using a password manager, you can tell the password manager to remember your passwords as you're logging in. This is RoboForm. I'm clicking it a little bit off screen so you can't see it, but inside of RoboForm, I can search my passwords. I can actually uh, log in through any of my passwords from here. I'm not gonna show you how that works. Um, that'll maybe be another uh, demo, but I wanna show you that in here, I can generate my passwords. So inside of here, you can actually generate passwords Generate them, generate them, generate them, fill them into the password page you're on, and then immediately utilize that and save it into your password manager. So let's do that here. So I'm going to log in to this with RoboForm, and instead of using what I've got, I'm going to generate, generate a password. I'm going to fill the form. I'm going to copy it just in case so I have it. It filled it in. I'm going to enter... Um, a fake at email, a fake account because I don't want to put one in that you know that's on this video. But you're gonna put in your real email account like you would if you're signing up for something. And then I'm gonna go here and press my little button in my browser for RoboForm again, and I can immediately save that right here. I can save it right there and press OK. It's encrypted. It's saved. It's double password protected, and I've just generated a password and saved the password with one fell swoop and I'm not even having to put it anywhere in a note or anything. I don't even have to write it down. It's saved. It's available to all my devices. And for me, that's the easiest way to both think up passwords as well as to keep them safe and encrypted and available on all my devices. You guys, I'm telling you. This is the best way to go, using one of these password managers. With RoboForm specifically, it has a double password protection, and even if someone hacks your account, they've got to have a second password to get into your system that RoboForm does not save on their servers, and the hackers can't get all of your passwords at once. They can't get to you from that password manager, even if it's saved online. It's a great option. These are some ideas. Go get a password manager, manage your passwords, change your passwords, make them stronger and better encryptable, and um, I suggest using something to generate them in the first place and save them right on the spot. With that said, this is Dustin Hedrick. This is Nerd Chic, another tutorial on keeping you safe. Be cyber secure out there, folks. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Give me some comments if you want me to um, communicate some other great topics and finds. Tell me what you want to hear about. I'll do more, more tutorials on them. And as well, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So have a great day in tech, guys.